Good morning. Here's our breakfast here at the city. Nandito na pala tayo sa city. Ng... This is Anga Hotel. Oh, hello. Nice, nice. Okay, sige na ako na. Cheeses and some nuts. Ito pa yung food nila here for breakfast. Good. Good, good. Cereal, fruits, cakes, fruits, another fruits, honey, natawa, mga palaman, and some pancakes, and juices, and coffee, and tea. Let's eat. San kayo sa sayo? My plate check. So ito pa yung ating pa-breakfast plate for today. Kunyari, ano, healthy living. O, diba? So beautiful. And a pancake. Itry natin to guys kasi hindi ko man kilala yan. So, pumuha ako ng ano, jam. Pasta jam. Mm, diba? And we'll be having some green tea. Mm, ayan. Bon appetit! highway, but the main highway actually, uh, that connects to Yerevan. Uh, so usually uh, on our right side we have a view to the, view to the mountain Ararat. Unfortunately today we cannot see it, but <laughs> I will just try to show you how the mountain looks like when we have better weather. Okay, this is how I captured it a few days ago. Mm. So basically it has two peaks. So the big one is called Masis and the small one is called Sis. But together they form Mountain Ararat. Okay? So Mountain Ararat is a holy mountain, a biblical mountain, uh, because it is said in the Bible that uh, after the great flood, Noah's Ark landed in the slopes of Mountain Ararat. That's why it's considered to be a holy mountain, very precious to all of the Armenians. Uh, once it used to be uh, in our territory, in the Armenian land, and now at the moment, unfortunately, it's in the territory of Turkey. Yes, uh, in 1915, we had uh, uh, Armenian uh, genocide, uh, which happened uh, because of the Ottoman Empire, by Ottoman Empire, uh, nowadays Turkey. Uh, one and a half million Armenians were killed, uh, and uh, most of them had to flee from the country uh, to fight like uh, to, to just kept to be kept alive to survive uh, especially like, women were more affected by this uh, they had to change their surnames their names marry Turkish men uh, and uh, actually Armenia have been like through lots of struggles because uh, we were the only Christian country uh, surrounded by Muslim countries that's why they wanted to dominate on us also like to convert us uh, but uh, still, although we lost lots of lands, uh, we never lost our identity, we never lost our culture and our religion. Yes, since 301, we have Christianity as a state uh, religion in Armenia. So since then, we follow Christianity. Uh, so, about the mountain again, um, uh, the small peak is uh, 3,975 meters high and the big one is 5,127 meters high. Actually, it's the highest peak uh, uh, in Turkey now. In Armenia, the highest point is Mount Aragat. Uh, 4,090 meters. Yes. Uh, for uh, Ararat, uh, it is allowed to climb the mountain, but only from the uh, Turkish side. From Armenian side, we don't have any access. No roads are open with Turkey uh, by left. Okay. Uh, and we don't have flights as well. Uh, only like through like Georgia, we can reach there. Uh, the border between Armenia and Turkey can be seen from our first destination, from Korvida Monastery. Uh, it's only 300 meters 
Yes, the border, yes, is 300 meters away. Uh, and uh, the mountain is only eight kilometers away. And by the way, the distance between the two mountains, the two peaks, is 11 kilometers. And uh, usually, like the whole year, the top uh, of the mountain is covered with snow. It's, yeah, the whole year. Yes, the whole year it's covered with snow. Uh, and you know when Noah landed here, they say that like, he started to plant uh, vegetables, to plant fruits, uh, and uh, for the fruits, the first one he started to like uh, cultivate was uh, grapes. Yes, and he started to make wine. Uh, <laughs> that's why we blame we blame uh, Noah for making us drink this much wine. <laughs> yes. And uh, that region, the region we are uh, in now, uh, is actually famous for their wines. They have Ararat wine, we have Ararat brandy, yesterday I was telling you, right? Uh, we have Ararat brandy, we have Ararat beer, uh, we have cafes, restaurants, banks named Ararat. And Ararat is also a male name, so some people can name their kids uh, after the mountain, Ararat. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so before this, the whole territory of the monastery used to be a royal imprisonment place, a royal prison, which was founded by one of our kings, Artashes uh, the first, who used to rule uh, this uh, part of the uh, country. Uh, so Artashes uh, built this uh, prison only for his royal enemies. So only royals were in prison here. Until one special person ended up here in the 4th century. His name was Gregory, Gregory the Illuminator. He was the first Catholicos Patriarch and the first head of Armenian Apostolic Church. So Gregory was Christian and the king that ruled those times, the Count the Third, was pagan. Armenia was a pagan country for a Christian. Uh, so, uh, and uh, Gregory was an advisor to the king, to Tartat III, and once Tartat got the information uh, that Gregory is preaching, spreading Christianity in his pagan country. Of course, he didn't like his family. Uh, so, he uh, ordered to uh, throw Gregory to death to one of the dungeons uh, without food. He left uh, him there like without food and without water. But eventually, uh, Gregory survived. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in like 13 years past, uh, the King Tartat got very sick and his sister, Khosrovigov, she had a vision in which only one person can cure Tartat. So this one person was Gregory. Uh, so they sent their people like, uh, to, like, for, to open the dungeon. Of course, they had no hope to find Gregory alive. Can you imagine being in a dungeon for 13 years without food and without water? You cannot survive. They opened up the dungeon and he was alive. So they let him out and with his prayers, it is said that in 60 days, uh, Gregory cured Tartat. And as Tartat was thankful to Gregory, so he converted uh, to Christianity. He turned the whole country into a Christian country. Thus, in 301, he proclaimed Armenia as a Christian country. Yes. We're not the first Christian country in the world, of course, but we are the first to proclaim a Christianity as a state religion. Okay. Hello everybody. So ang mga auntie are walking, going to the mountain. Yeah. Yan siya, yan guys. So, welcome pala guys. Welcome to my vlog. So today is our fourth day and kumuha na kami ng package kasi hindi naman namin lahat alam dito. So we are taking the south. No, bayon. South package. <laughs> so places South South southern, I know, in southern part of Armenia. So first destination natin ay yung Korverap Monastery. We're in dito daw naka. May dungeon daw dito kung saan si Gregory naka nakalibing or naka survive. Nilibing ni prison pala. Dito siya pinreso. <laughs> Yeah. Yan siya. Marami ka ba? And by the way, yes, we have worship only here. Yeah, I was 
Ngayon na? Ngayon na? Ngayon na lang siya kasi wala siyang phone. Aday na may hit ko na. Ngayon na kasi naiwan yan. Ano? Madali mo ba? Nalala ko yung Israel. Ganitong ganito yung mga ano doon. Sa Israel. We have vegetarians. The Illuminator Church. And under this church, Gregory the Illuminator was in prison. And this part, this is the kitchen area that I mentioned before. You can see there is a hole in the middle there. So it's an underground oven called Tony. Uh, so uh, till today we use this kind of ovens to bake our traditional bread lavash, ah, yeah, bread yeah. lavash yeah. and we do our traditional barbecue in uh, Tony as well. Okay. Uh, and if you would like to see the dungeon, so we need to enter the church. Yes. Ayan, papasok po tayo ng St. Gregory Church and sa dungeon we're in na preso si Uncle Gregory. <laughs> Okay, ito na yung ano, a sample of ano, prisohan. Meron pang makita, meron pa. So, ito yung sample prison dito. Na kailangan mo. Iba yun. Okay, this is the prisohan. Parang ito yung hindi to, sample lang to na prisohan, parang dungeon din. Iba yung doon sa kanya, 6 meters deep, mas malalim. Mas malalim yun. Ito parang 2 meters lang to eh. So 6 times 3 nito. So ito yung sa... Na sila na yan nagsulat-sulat, mga turista. Hello. Ito kayo. We are in the dungeon, guys. Ayan. So, huwag talaga kayong gumawa ng mga nasasama ko ngayon yung priso kayo. Ano na? Kiyat na tayo? Ano na? May bumababa eh. Atahin naman natin yung alleged ano friend ni St. Gregory na nagbibigay daw sa kanya ng food through this kitchen. Ayan. Ito. So, ito daw yung kitchen nila. Kitchen ni Gregory? Hindi ito yung parang kitchen na something. May kitchen, di ba sabi, ano? Beside nung ano, dungeon, may kitchen. So, yung may may nagbibigay daw sa kanya ng tinapay. Dito maghugas. Maghugas. Lutoan, lutoan.
we're done sa ating first destination which is yung Corbirat Monastery so we are Filipinos of course oh, tingnan nyo yun oh. yung dalawa hala nag video video sila Usually we have the rain season in autumn, fall season, September, October, November. Heavy rains. Yes, heavy rains. <coughs> 